now our Hillsboro parents will need to lock in how their children will head back to school. Good evening, Tampa Bay. I'm Isabel Rosales. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King has the concerns from parents and teachers and all the last minute information you may need to make your choice. The declaration of intent is due tonight at midnight, meaning you'll need to decide whether your child will enroll in brick and mortar schooling, e-learning or virtual school. For any parent or guardian that doesn't respond to that declaration, your child will be enrolled in brick and mortar. We all can agree that this school year presents unprecedented challenges because of COVID-19. The Hillsborough County School District spending much of the last week answering questions for parents. The district releasing this video outlining what brick and mortar style schooling will look like in Hillsborough County for the upcoming school year. This includes social distancing, cleaning stations and mask requirements in classrooms, cafeterias and on school buses. These added measures not quite enough for some teachers. We're a profession. We have standards. But nowhere is it written that we should risk our lives um, to educate students. And for many parents, there are still lots of questions. It's a bad situation that doesn't really have a perfect answer and, and definitely not for a, a a county of 210,000 plus kids. The Hillsboro PTA encouraging parents to make the decision based on what is best for their family. Every family that we talk to seems to have a different situation. But Reyes hopes the district will be flexible for parents over the next few weeks as the pandemic evolves. My hope is even though there's a deadline tonight, that uh, consideration will be taken in for parents who may see things that may change their mind here in the future. He says the most important thing the district and parents can do moving forward is keep communication flowing. As long as you are continually emailing and asking these questions uh, to your school board members and your superintendent, those are things that they can consider. Superintendent Davis is suggesting that the first day of school be delayed by two weeks. The school board will vote on that this coming Thursday. Reporting in Tampa, McKenna King, ABC Action News.